Hey guys, it's me Anne, and this is Beauty With Me. Today I have three metallic liquid lipsticks that I am putting to the test. I think they'd be perfect for any parties you're going to, perfect for the winter season, amazing for New Year's. So we have three different brands that we're trying out today, the first of which is from CoverGirl. These are the Melting Pout Metallic Liquid Lipsticks. Next up we have these ones from Lottie London, they're called the Slay all day liquid lipsticks in the metallic formulation. And finally, we have these babies from Smashbox. I'm going to put all three of these lipsticks through the 12 hour wear test to see how they hold up and you're coming with me. But first, are you subscribed? If you're not, click down here, the little subscribe button so you can hang out with me every single Monday. So I'm actually gonna try on all three of these lipsticks right now, just so we can see how they apply the first impressions, the formula, and then I'm going to wear them for three consecutive days, and that's where we'll see how long they wear. So first up, Rockstar CoverGirl. I actually love the combination of red lips and blue shadow, so this look is very me. Fuzzy, slanted applicator. You push the product out like this. It looks like these are gonna be nice because you can kind of shear them out if you wanna wear them as a stain instead of just a full-on metallic liquid lip. It's actually really easy to apply because the formula itself is very creamy, so it glides on really easily. It feels really good. It actually feels like balm. It doesn't have any like explicit long wear claims, but it is a liquid lipstick, so in theory, it should last a long time. I'm definitely getting metallic vibes here. It definitely comes off on your hands. If you were to kiss someone or like, drink out of a coffee cup. It's not completely transfer proof. I'm into it right now, especially because my lips are very dry. But I have a few other colors here. We're gonna swatch them all for you and you can see which one you like the best. Next up, we have these lovely lipsticks from Smashbox. Now these lipsticks are supposed to last for eight hours, so we will see. I'm gonna wear them for 12, so we'll see if it, we can stretch it a little bit. Right off the bat, I'm into this applicator. It has a nice tapered tip, it comes to a point. I think that that's gonna be really great for getting along my lip line. It has a little bit of a reservoir tip as well, like right here where you can see there's a little bit of a hole, like a little divot, and there's product catching in there. I think that'll be nice for a applying a nice, smooth, opaque layer. I love the color. I definitely see this metallicness, but I think it's a little less metallic in finish than the CoverGirl one that I just tried. I think in part because this one does dry down matte, whereas the CoverGirl one has more of a satin finish. I wonder if it's going to start to dry out my lips after a few hours of wear. Let's do a little test to see if it's completely dry. Nothing. I love that a lot of brands are coming out with metallic lipsticks that are in beautiful, really wearable colors. Last but not least, we have these fellas from Lottie London, the Slay All Day liquid lipsticks. They're supposed to be very long wearing. They are called Slay All Day. I have this shade, it's called Boy Bye. Ooh, it's very metallic. And then I have another shade called Shook. Am I gonna be Shook by Shook? Get 90s vibes from this. So I think I'm gonna go with Boy Bye, which is this plum shade, just to keep it all in the same color family in terms of all the lipsticks that I'm wearing today. Very pigmented in right one swipe. So right off the bat, this one feels drier than the other two, but nothing too crazy right now. I wonder if, you know, four hours down the road, if it will start to crust, but it does feel really good. Out of all three, I think this one is the most metallic. Let's see if it, both my fingers. Nothing. Nada. I'm curious to see how this one wears. I'm wondering if it's gonna get drying. Hopefully it won't, but so far I like it. I think it's really pigmented. I think it was easy to apply. So I guess only time will tell. Let's move on to the 12 hour test. Hey guys, I am wearing the CoverGirl metallic lipstick today and it is around 9 a.m. about to head off to work and wear this for a full 12 hours. So far, so good. The lipstick is looking great. I just put it on, so of course it is. It feels really good. I was so excited to have this lipstick on today because it has a slick emollient, like balm-like quality, even though it does have this beautiful metallic finish. Um, so therefore, it's a little bit hydrating on my extremely chapped lips. So that's a plus. It is around 1 p.m. I just had a little bit of lunch. It's wearing a little bit. 
in the center, but nothing too crazy. And I have something really fun and very seasonal to do. I have a gingerbread house. I just made my gingerbread house. It's dying a slow, slow death. I had some gumdrops and some gingerbread and lipstick is holding up. Still feels really good, still feels like bomb. Like I can go like this and I can feel it like sliding on my lip, which is actually really nice. I think it's fading a little bit in terms of like the color. It definitely doesn't have as much of a metallic finish anymore. It's leaving a nice stain on my lips that I like. So I'll check in with you guys at five o'clock and we'll see how this fella is doing. It's around 5 p.m. I've been wearing this lipstick for quite some time now. I, at this point, it has faded a lot. It's feathering a little bit, which is as expected because I had a really big burrito for lunch and I ate quite a bit of it, so it's kind of coming off. I really like it because it feels like lip balm. It kind of stains the lips, so I actually don't feel like I need to reapply it, but for the sake of this video, I will. It's around 9 p.m. I've been wearing my lipstick for 12 hours and I've got to say I'm very impressed with how evenly and pigmented the stain is. In terms of the metallicness, it's definitely gone now. If you look at it, it's definitely more of a stain. It's really only got that metallic sheen once it's like freshly applied and for a couple hours after that until it starts to wear off. But overall, I really enjoyed it. It definitely doesn't have the longevity of a true like matte liquid lipstick, but that being said, I really enjoyed it, especially because it's super cold and dry outside. It was so nice to have a pigmented lipstick that wears and feels like lip balm. That's my two cents on this one. I've got a few more lipsticks to try, so stay tuned. Hey guys, it's 9 a.m. I got to work a little bit early today because I have a lot of stuff to do, but I'm wearing metallic lipstick, of course. This is the Smashbox one. Doesn't feel drying yet. I'm excited to see how it wears. It's 1 p.m. I'm here with Michaela. Hello. So I've had a lot of tea. I've had some snacks. Some snacks. And it looks pretty much good. the same. What do you think? It's cool. It's like kind of has like a metallic -y sparkly finish, which I really like. Good for holidays. That's exactly why I'm doing it. Yeah. I didn't tell her anything about the video, so. I had no context, I swear. Wearing well. I'm gonna eat lunch in just a bit, and then at my 5 p.m. check-in, I will let you know how it stands up against food. It's 5 p.m., I just had lunch because I was just like so sucked into work, I forgot to eat. So I ate a very oily salad, and I don't eat salads gracefully, and the lipstick has come off. We'll see how it lasts until 9 p.m., and I'll check in for the final update. I've been wearing this lipstick for 12 hours. Looks pretty good. Still has a metallic finish. I did reapply at like five, five-ish, but it wore pretty well until I started to eat that really oily salad. But I'm gonna do a little mistletoe test. She just wants the mistletoe. I just kissed my kitty a bunch, and now I'm gonna kiss Colin with some mistletoe. Nothing, see? Nothing on the face. Well, that's me signing off. Say bye, Colin. Bye. It's the final day of my lipstick challenge. I'm wearing the Lottie London metallic lipstick today, and I've gotta say it feels really comfortable. I just put it on though, so we'll see if it gets crusty or dry throughout the day, but so far so good. I actually have some exciting things planned today. I'm going to be hosting the second installment of our Harry Potter reread club, so we'll see how this lipstick wears through that and more. It's 1 p.m., I just had lunch. I had a giant bagel, and the lipstick is Still pretty even around the outside of my mouth, but definitely wearing in the center. And I don't know about you guys, but I don't eat bagels in very dainty, gentle ways. I kind of just go at it. So I think considering it held up pretty well, but I definitely want to reapply and see how the lipstick layers on top of it itself. So I'm gonna do that right now. It's starting to feel just a touch dry, but Nothing too uncomfortable yet. It's a little bit before five o'clock and I'm gonna be heading out for the day soon. I haven't eaten anything since around one, like when I had my lunch, so the lipstick has stayed on really well. I think that if you're not gonna be eating anything really greasy, like a salad or the bagel or pizza, it'll actually stay, it will stay on really well. Like, look at this. It did get a little bit crusty, like the product was peeling a little bit toward the center between my lips. So I just took a tissue and blotted it away. And then 
it ended up being fine. So that's one thing to note, it was a little bit uncomfortable, but all in all, it has worn well. So we're at Harry Potter Reread Club, and I've been eating some of these cookies that my friend Carly made. What do you guys think? Looks good. It's brilliant. Nice. Thank you! I'll give you guys a closer look. It looks good, it's not feathering. It doesn't feel drying. So far, so good. I will check in with you guys later today and let you know what I think. Bye! So Harry Potter Reread Club has sadly come to a close. It's like 11-ish. And this is the state of the lipstick now after having had pumpkin pie and more apple cider and the works. So it's on, but definitely a stain. It's pretty much completely off. But I gotta say, I'm very impressed with the way it wore. The liquid lipsticks tend to wear very patchy on me and end up getting really dry to the point where I have to use a wipe to take them off. But this one actually just like wore relatively evenly. I mean, obviously you can see little bits of it. It's definitely not a lipstick to wear if you want it to last through something like ramen or pizza. It's like not gonna do it, but I like it. It was very comfortable, honestly. And it was very easy to layer on top of itself. So definitely not, it's not the longest wearing, but it's still a good one. And there you have it. Those are all three of the lipsticks put through the ringer. Let me know which one you like the most. Which one was your favorite color? Have you tried them before? Cast your votes in the comment section down below, and I will catch you guys next week. Bye. Thank you all so much for watching. Let me know what you wanna see next on Beauty With Me in the comments below, and click here to subscribe to Refine29, and click here to watch more videos. Bye.